learned very recently that a lot of fools need to put some respect on MMA math. What did he tap to? But what about MMA science? I didn't watch every single fight this time around because I did that last week and I thought I was gonna die. This time I just focused on the first two fights of the trilogy. And in order to come to a reliable prediction for the rubber match, we need to first consider the micro evolution that has taken place, not only with the fighters, but with the UFC. <laughs> Let me break it down for you. Hey, what's up everybody, my name is Jesse and I'm the founder Grandmaster of MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. And this and video is sponsored by the uh, Pound for Pound, Pound Wally King, the Ridge Wally. More on that later. It's very important that we base our prediction upon a foundation of truth. And the truth is that Leon Edwards actually won that first fight. Now, before you accuse me of being biased, let me assure you that this is a scientific, uh, MMA scientific conclusion. As you already know, the wheels are in motion to rewrite history. Apparently, John Jones did not have too many picograms, so he didn't cheat. He did not do anything illegal, so he's still undefeated. And when he was up all night partying, he was consuming Coca-Cola. Similarly, when Kamaru Usman defeated Leon Edwards back in 2015, that's when the UFC cared about takedowns and cage work and control time. But the UFC isn't the same today as it was back in 2015. We're dealing with a new strain. It's all about slap at the ass, man. I've been talking about how the UFC has turned into glorified kickboxing. Unless there's a submission or unless there's an agenda, the UFC pulled the switcheroo on us. You ever get that live notification from the UFC? And then you realize it's about the power slap? It's mass indoctrination. We must stay focused, brothers. If we've learned anything from the past, it's that the past doesn't matter. It's all about what's happening right now. And when I watch this first fight right now, I see a lot of clean striking from Edwards and a lot of sloppy striking from Usman. Cat-like reflections from Edwards. I see Usman getting hit a lot upon entrance. I see Usman having a hard time taking Leon down. And when he does, Leon either capitalizes on it or gets right back up. I see Usman telegraphing and not setting up shots while Leon throws from point of origin and mixes it up. Edwards has a chin and Usman doesn't absorb shots well. Basically, they gave the fight to Usman because he had all that control time, which he would not have been awarded today. Even back then, it was somewhat frowned upon. Dan Bergliotta had to separate him because Usman kept taking the fight to the cage. And when they were on the ground, he wasn't doing anything to advance position. He was just trying to stay on top and throw distraction blows. This may be due to Usman taking advantage of the rule set at the time and hugging his way to victory. Or maybe he was playing it safe because he respected Leon's grappling capabilities, which were no better highlighted than when he displayed the ancient art of Jamaican foot fighting. It was a combination of the old rule set combined with Leon's patience and composure that allowed Usman to take the win. When people see stuff like this, they get all hyped up. But when Leon does it, they don't look at it the same way. They just think that he's inactive. And they don't realize that he's playing that long game. And that's what Leon does best. Him and Usman both have a lot of decision wins. While Usman hugs and controls his way to victory. While Edwards battles his way to victory with patient and intelligent striking. That being said, Edwards has shown a tendency to get discouraged and give up on himself when facing Usman. He may have resigned himself to losing a decision. Well, that's what Dean Thomas said. Perhaps his awareness of the rule set at the time caused him to stop trying in the third round of the first fight. And Usman clearly got the better of him in that round. But still, based on today's rule set, where takedowns and control time doesn't matter, where it's all about damage and significant strikes, Leon won the first two rounds, and therefore, the match. Now, there were micro evolutions that took place between the first and second fights, but only micro. And not just because macro evolution is nonsensical, and not even actual science because it's not observable. The changes were micro because although Edwards got way better at takedown defense and Usman knocked out a backyard fighter, Edwards is never gonna be a grappler. And Usman 
is never going to be a striker. But I think the most significant change between the first and second fight was Usman's cringiness. Leon even broke the fourth wall. Like if he was the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air because that fool was being so weird. And that's really just part of his insecurity. Usman is a very emotional fighter. That's why he takes unnecessary risks and gets hit a lot. And Edwards capitalized on this during the first round. It was the first time that Usman had ever been taken down. And Edwards knew that Usman likes to train at elevation. So he even memed on him by giving him that elevation mask. And you could tell that Usman took this personal because he dominated the next three rounds. Not only with pressure and hugging, but also with the fake eye pole. Well, it kind of went to the side of the eye. It hit the side. And groin shot. That was not low. That was not low. That did not look low. That was not low. That did not look low. He also faked the groin shot in the first fight. Most of the impact hit your stomach. He also faked the groin shot against Covington. That was not nice. a good cut. I don't like jumping to conclusions, but either that fool's lying or he's anatomically incorrect. But I gotta be fair. It looks like both Usman and Edwards are willing to do whatever it takes to get the win. They both like to grab the cage. And they both like to hook the gloves. You get those out. Leon, you're in the gloves. I see you. And the refs called some of it. But they were more focused on telling them to work. Because Usman kept wanting a hug. He looked like he was trying to steal Leon's wallet. And if Leon's rocking that Ridge wallet, then I don't blame it. The Ridge wallet is the pound for pound best wallet in the game. Boasting a sleek and minimalist design while carrying up to 12 cards and your cash. You carry anything more than that, you're gonna have to move up weight classes. And you're just being inefficient with your energy. Think about how much you sit down during the day. Too much, right? And when you sit down on your nice couch to watch some TV, you're not even sitting on your couch. You're sitting on your wallet. Why are you even spending money on furniture if you're just gonna sit on a wallet? The Ridge wallet is a front pocket wallet that keeps you from sitting unevenly and it keeps fools from stealing your identity. Ironically, there's plenty of different styles and colors to match your personality and identity. And if your personality changes into someone who loves back pain and hates furniture, then you have 99 days to return it. Try it out today by going to ridge.com forward slash Voto and using the promo code Voto for 10% off. I'll take your entire stock. Long story, not as long as it could be. Edwards was very discouraged after the first round. Maybe because Usman started playing that hugging game again like he did in the first fight. And Edwards just figured the judges would give it to him. He started looking like he didn't even want to be there. But then the most significant strikes. <laughs> Entire fight were landed, and that's probably the biggest dependent variable of this entire science experiment. The coaches. He's bullying you, son. Don't let him bully you, son. Leon's coach is like that dad when you score 20 points, and he's like, How come you didn't score 25? And no triple double? And Usman's coach is like one of those friends that tells you that you could sing, and then you go on American Idol and humiliate yourself. That fool was even smiling when they gave Leon the bell. There's such a thing as being too positive. Sometimes you gotta be realistic. And that's what I'm doing right now. It's a scientific, it's a MMA scientific fact that Uzma cannot be Edwards with that hugging and control time style any longer. Especially because Usman isn't a champion. So they're not gonna give him that leeway. In the last fight, Herb Dean had to keep telling them to work. And he even separated on in the last pay-per-view. The GOAT, Jason Herzog, separated Valentina and Grasso. The UFC just doesn't get down like that anymore. Usman can't rely on hugging. And he can't compete with Leon's striking technique. I don't care if Usman comes into the fight with more jabs than Walgreens. Leon's striking is at too high a level for him. Usman has hype men in his corner. And Edwards has people that are going to push him. And make them dig deep. We need to respect science. And scientific discovery informs us that due to the evolution of the UFC and of these two fighters, that Leon Edwards will be victorious. If you would like to help me make more breakdown videos like this, then please consider doing these things right here. A lot of you have been doing it and it's been working. 
That's more science right there. And if you would like to have access to two exclusive Below the Beanie episodes every week, then please consider joining my Patreon or YouTube membership. Links in the description. Thank you for watching Mexican Martial Arts. Appreciate it. Good looking out. Late.